give it up, y'all. So both are comedians who have played all kinds of gigs. I doubt they have ever performed in front of a PTA meeting, or I don't know, maybe you have. Have you ever performed? Me? PTA meeting? Well, I, uh, I mean, I've done school fun, you know. You, okay. Yeah, that kind of school thing. Function. It wasn't actually a PTA meeting, or, but, but. Well, then no is the answer. No. <laughs> that would be no. Yeah. I'm just no. kidding. It's the tequila. Um, so, <laughs> PTA meetings are the venue of choice for my next guest. They call themselves the Bad Moms of Comedy, and they are from Chicago. They're real mamas who do stand up, and they have a lot of fans here. They, they do real stand up for parents just like them, and they are hilarious. Please welcome Orly, Leah, and Colleen. <laughs> start with you. So you started this and you're new to comedy, right? Yeah, I've been doing comedy a year. And wow. I know, I walked into a comedy club and I saw a flyer to do stand-up comedy and there were those little like slits that you can take and yeah. I took the whole flyer. I'm like, this is for me. <laughs> I'm doing this. And it was great. Now, it, I mean, I have two teenagers. Yeah. And so I just needed... It's a lot of comedy there. <laughs> I needed someone to listen to me for five minutes. Because they don't? Right. <laughs> exactly. You know, you know my pain. I, I've, had yeah. teenage, I've had all kinds of levels in my house. or ages. Levels? What? Tequila. <laughs> um, do tequila. Uh, so wait, do your jokes land differently when y'all do PTA meeting, meetings? Like. How do they, Absolutely. how does that go? Absolutely. No, they hit, well, so I've been doing comedy for 13 years and I was doing comedy before I became a mom. I did comedy while I was pregnant and then I'm doing comedy now. And so, and I run an open mic. And yeah. so I'll practice my open mic jokes, like at my open mic, I'll, you know, and nobody will laugh. And I'll just be like, well, that's gonna kill on Thursday. Yeah. You guys just don't know. You, you know, don't like, get it. You have no, like, I do this joke, <laughs> uh, like a sleep training joke, and then I say, you know, my, my husband will wake up in the morning and say, oh my God, Leah, the, the baby slept through the night. And I'm like, no, Michael, you slept through the night. <laughs> the baby and I finished season three Game of Thrones. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, exactly. you know? <laughs> yeah, my, my, my minivan jokes do really well uh, at these shows. They don't do so well at the open mics all the right. time. But they do in these mom shows. Yeah. But see, I'm a mama. I get all of these. I get all of these. So wait, so Colleen, what's the part you enjoy most about this group? I mean, other than the camaraderie and the community that we've created, I feel like we're, we're bringing comedy to a group of people who don't normally have comedy geared toward them. Yeah. Um, they're sort of yeah. underserved, you know, uh, in the comedy world. So it's great to be able to find an audience that you can just walk in, do all these great parent jokes. They get it. You, you walk off. out. Yeah, you walk out feeling really good at the end of a show. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, everybody's got kids and parents have... Kids have parents and parents have kids and we can all laugh at each other. And moms other. are funny. Yeah. And women are moms. funny. You're, and we become funny. funny because life is hard. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and parenthood is yes. hard. Yes. If you don't laugh, you're gonna cry. <laughs> and it's been great. They love it. And they have a camaraderie too. Yeah. It's a PTA event without like the PTA stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 No so. one's asking you to volunteer or bake cookies. They're yeah. just like, yeah. I get a drink and laugh. Yeah. Sounds good. Way more palatable. Love this yeah. yeah. <laughs> and fine, judge me. I'm totally gonna buy the cookies. And put them <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> so Jay Io, do you agree that comedy needs more voices? You know, it's the most basic form of human human communication, with the exception, if you took away the mic, it hasn't changed in a thousand years. It's someone talking and other people listening. Mm. And, uh, you know, I think it's great. I mean, that, that's, I, I think it's a terrific idea. Yeah. And it's, it's really not that unique. A lot of people are doing it out realizing they're doing it. Because if you're any kind of public speaker and you go to speak to a group of parents, you always want to have an icebreaker. You know, they talk about an icebreaker. Mm. And you always watch those bad people. And the joke gets no laugh and they go, but seriously, as we move forward, you know, all they do is provide the laughs that the others don't. You know? Yeah, I love that. What do you feel about comedians? Did you feel like you had like comedians kind of look up to like when you were young? Yeah, I, I feel like it, it is, I, I don't know, as time goes on, there's just like more and more comedians who you get to see and be like, oh yeah, it's nice. It's nice to feel like representation. It's nice to have people yeah. who make jokes and, or, you know, provide work where it's like, you oh, feel right. like you can relate to it. And yeah. People do like have this preconception that like, oh, you're a woman, oh, you're black, oh, you're X, you're Y, you're Z, so you're only gonna be able yeah, to tell right, jokes yes. about yeah. this experience. And it's like, I'm a human being and I'm funny, just like you are. Yes. Yes. I, I got yes. jokes. Yes. 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 yes, I love it. But that's like comedy. I feel like music, comedy, like certain yeah. things transcend yeah. all yeah. Before the show, Jay graciously agreed to meet with Orly to offer some advice before she performs, so check it out. I am about to go meet Jay Leno. Hi. How are you, 
Nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you. 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 Nice that's generally a good ratio. And after about seven or eight minutes, I can move on to another topic. You're a career woman, you run a business. There's a lot of laughs in there. Any stories that you have about your children, about your job, that you can incorporate on stage without obviously being embarrassing or right. you know, risking something. I think you're well on your way and have fun with it. And, I am. And try to get as much stage time as you can. I really appreciate every second you have spent with me. Oh, this is great. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. It's such a pleasure. Thank you. See what happens. All right. So, I am. Like, what about you, from a female's uh, perspective? You know, any last-minute advice? Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> she said, well, just no. have fun. I don't know. <laughs> like, don't throw up, lady. Yeah, probably that. Probably yeah. that. Yeah. Just keep it all. Yeah, I mean, there's still the Wait smell of pork cake. Write joke, tell joke, get check. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Orly, I love the last. I love the last. I like that advice. Yeah, exactly. Get checked. Get, check. get that I love money. that. So wait, Orly, do you want to do a few jokes for us right now? I would love to. to. Okay, let's do it. You guys want to do it? Let's do it. <laughs> All right, everybody. Oh, I love that this gentleman just handed me a mic. He's like, "You got this, girl." How many moms do we have in the audience today? Oh, those were not cheers of "Yeah, I'm a mom." Those were cheers of. Yay, I'm away from them today. Those are tears of, I put on real clothes with buttons. Yeah. I, uh, this month, I'm celebrating 20 years of marriage. Yeah. And 20 years of marriage means that I have a PhD in my husband. I am not switching majors this far in. Mm -mm. By the way, I should point out, uh, my husband and I are fine in the bedroom. Okay, and don't say, oh, after 20 years, you have to say it. No, Orly doesn't have to say anything. I mean, does it look like I would put up with mediocre marital relations for 20 years? No, he is. But I'm not. I think that's good, I think we're good, I think we're good. <laughs> It was way better than the pork cake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually didn't mind the pork cake, but I do agree. If you want to see the Bad Moms of Comedy perform, they'll be at Zany's in Rosemont, Illinois, Wednesday, November 2nd at 7 p.m.